but let's talk about an issue in the real estate market right now. You may remember last year, Oregon banned some home or banned all home buyers from writing so-called love letters to try to get a seller's attention. Well, a federal judge has now blocked that law, so people can still write them, at least for now. Today, Joe Ranieri spoke with the attorney who filed that lawsuit. Joe. Yeah, this is getting a lot of attention, and for buyers who are fighting in this hot market, this could actually help them. Brittany, attorney Daniel Ortner says last year's ruling violates free speech. Now, with an injunction in place from a federal judge, buyers can write those letters once again in hopes of getting into a home. Cash is king when it comes to the real estate market, especially here in Oregon as the market continues to stay red hot. But some buyers who don't have the cash to entice a seller want to rely on a convincing letter to close the deal. The reason for love letters are as extensive as uh, the properties themselves. Um, it may be addressing the architectural guidelines, uh, may be addressing the fact that it's a first time home buyer. Late last year, Oregon lawmakers passed a new law preventing buyers from writing love letters. Last week, a federal judge blocked it. It's a, an important fight for our clients and uh, those they represent. A lawsuit was filed in federal court by the Pacific Legal Foundation saying that ban violates the First Amendment rights of real estate agents and their clients. Attorney Daniel Ortner with the foundation says this is a big win. And I think other states might try to follow Oregon's lead, which is why it was so important to go to federal court and get an injunction. Chris Ambrose with Total Real Estate Group says lawmakers thought the letters got in the way of fair housing practices. Ultimately, we don't believe that fair housing and the First Amendment, particularly freedom of speech, are mutually exclusive principles. A ruling that will, at least for the time being, it's a very competitive process and it gives, in many cases, a buyer a leg up on what, um, uh, on the ability to get a house. Allow buyers who are competing for that dream house. The sellers that, that do care about it, it it's a really important to them. And so the, these, allowing these letters, I think, allows for uh, communication between buyer and seller. A shot at finding a place to call home. Now, the state could appeal the ruling. If the state does that, it would go to the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals and then go to trial if that's the case. Britt, back to you.